Good evening, everybody. You know this? Yeah, you can tell. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> Should we begin with a word of prayer? Thank you. Lord Jesus, we thank you that we can gather in this place tonight. Amen. And Father, we've come to, as we said earlier, to give you all the praise and all the glory that, that you deserve. So Father, we just ask now, Holy Spirit, that you would come and have your way in this place, Lord. That you would move amongst us, that you would meet with us as your people, Lord. Because Father, we, we've come to worship you, to hear from you tonight. So have your way, we pray, in Jesus' mighty, precious name. Amen. Can we stand as we sing all of you to tonight as well?
greatest is our God. You are yes. the name above all names. Yes. There's no other it's God except you, Lord. None but you. Thank you, Jesus, for everything you do for us every single day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Well, we give you a very warm welcome to our service this evening. And uh, whether you're here in person or online or even on demand at a later stage, you're very welcome. And we do pray that God will richly bless each one of us as we've enjoyed some worship and as we listen to God's word later. 
So we're just going to have a few announcements. Um, basically, on Wednesday, uh, we're having our prayer and share online. Uh, that's at 6.15 for 6.30. Then Thursday, we're hoping that the uh, um, growth group meeting will be on. But in the morning, uh, we have Mal's funeral, 10 o'clock, in Liminus Church, Worcester Street, Bryn Mal. And then on Sunday, 11 o'clock, Destiny Online service, followed by 1 o'clock, <coughs> according to the pattern course, and then our 6 p.m. in-person and live stream service here at Church on the Right. We do pray that God will encourage us to get along to those events. Lots of things happening in the next few weeks, so... Be encouraged. And uh, we're just going to have the prayer points. We're going to be praying for Faber, for Gainer, Wendy, Elaine, Charlene and Jordan, Pete, Anne, Steve, and obviously Miles' family as well. Just for you to be aware uh, regarding Faber, she hasn't had a very good start. Um, she was supposed to fly out to Lagos uh, earlier that they delayed there's a technical problem with the plane and the uh, she's had another um, message now which means that she won't be going until about nine o'clock tonight so that's nine o'clock their time eight o'clock our time and she'll be going to Lagos it's an hour's flight mm -hmm. and of course it's dark uh, she hasn't been well, she'd been once I think to Lagos when she was small and um, she's booked into a hotel and then she'll be flying out at nine o'clock on Tuesday morning to arrive around two thirty, three o'clock in Heathrow on Wednesday. So continue to pray for her. Yeah. Uh, she needs our prayers and all the others really. Uh, it's good to see that uh, again is getting better, but we need to continue to pray for her. Wendy is getting better as well. We need to continue to pray. Uh, Elaine as well needs our prayers greatly. Charlene and Jordan as well. Pete, although Pete's here, you know, he still needs our prayers. Uh, Anne in the home. And of course, continue to pray for Steve. And obviously, though, <coughs> still in mourning, uh, Helen and Lee and the family. And us as a family as well, because we still. This our brother man. So let's take those opportunities. If there's anybody you'd like to come pray, come to the front now, and then we'll lead these people to the Lord. So take the opportunity now. Who's going to be first? Marla would have been here first. Father, we just lift up um, our family to you, Lord God. We just, know, you just know every single one of them, Lord. And it, it's wonderful to know that we have a God who looks after everybody. And we do, as we heard, favour is having a problem. But Lord, we know you've got it in hand and you know exactly what to do. And we pray for Gainer too, Lord Jesus. And pray that she'll be he healing as well. And Wendy, who sounds so much better Lord and Elaine and Father I just pray and thank you for all these people that we do pray for and ask for healing and Father I do pray for Charlene and Jordan who we miss quite a lot and we do um, just lift them up to you Lord especially Jordan as he probably going to a hospital for something Lord and I do pray for him too, Lord Jesus, that he'll know as we pray for him, he'll see us praying for Jordan, because mm -hmm. he does get excited, Lord. We know that. Thank you, Father. Pray for peace, <coughs> Anne, Lord, Anne, who's in the home, and peace who's here, and his arm's not very good, and, but we thank you that he's in the praise and worship team, and he's <coughs> doing it, and Steve, Lord Jesus, that we know he's got a bad chance and we pray healing for him as well and lord we bring to you mal's family lord we miss him so much 
walking in the door here at our family church. Mm -hmm. He always is there, it was always there, mm -hmm. but we know where he is now, Lord. And we pray for his family, that they will be at peace, knowing that he is with you, Lord. And we ask this in your precious name, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anyone else? Father, we just thank you that uh, we have this avenue to you, Lord, so that we can pray and lift our brothers and sisters in Christ to you. We thank you, Lord, that you listen to all our prayers. And we just pray right now that you will reach out and touch those that need that touch in their bodies. Lord, we thank you for the progress of some of those that we've been praying for. But Lord, we thank you. We're praying for wholeness, Lord, for wellness. And Lord, we just pray that you continue to minister to each one. Lord, we pray that you will comfort those who are mourning at this time. Yes, yes Lord, we do thank you for Mal and for his life in this church. He was a great exponent of the gospel because he was a living testimony lord yes. and so lord we continue to pray now for his family that you will comfort them at this time lord and we just pray that you'll move on thursday lord in that service that your name will be glorified Amen. and we pray your blessing and so lord we just commit ourselves to you now Praying your blessing. We do think of favour still in that airport, still waiting, Lord. Yes. Encourage her, Lord. Amen. Lord, you are with her all the way. Jesus. And we just pray that she will get on that plane very soon and be able to get for the first part of her journey. Lord, it's a big step for her. And we pray your protection over her because we ask it in your precious name, the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now Lana is going to come and give us the reading. Thank you. Ephesians 3, verse 7 to 21. Of which I became a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given to me by the effective working of his power to me who am uh, who am less than the least of all the saints this grace was given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make all see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the ages has been hidden in God who created all things through Jesus Christ to the intent that now the manifold wisdom of God might be made known by the church to the principalities and powers in the heavenly places according to the eternal purpose which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence through faith in him. Therefore, I ask that you do not lose heart at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened and might through his Spirit in the inner man 
that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and depth and height to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Lerma. <clears throat> Let's just commit this word to the Lord. Father, we just thank you again for your word. And Lord, as uh, Brother Gary comes to share from your word, Lord, help us to understand it, open up our ears and our hearts to receive it. And Lord, we pray your blessing upon our time. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, good evening, everyone. <coughs> I don't know, have any of you watched Strictly Come Dancing in the last few months? <laughs> the performers were superb, were they not? <coughs> Did you ever watch Gareth Bale playing soccer for Wales? <laughs> yes. yes. <coughs> for over ten years he was absolutely brilliant. But he's retired now. Did you watch the World Cup? Yes. 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 Wow, it was amazing to watch teams like Morocco, who had never participated before, finishing in fourth place in the competition. <coughs> there were brilliant players in every team, in all the teams. Yet, we tend to look at ourselves and think about all the things we can't do. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every person here today has been given gifts and abilities by God, which we should be using to glorify our God. They are not for us to look good, but rather to help us recognize we are alive for God and able to exercise the gifts he has given us through the power of the Holy Spirit for the glory of God. Can we imagine that we have a, we might have a group of good faithful people working together <coughs> in unity how we might impact this world Paul in Ephesians 3 talks about this saying I became a servant of the gospel by the gift of God's grace given me through the working of his power Although I am less than the least of all God's people, this grace was given to me to preach to the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make plain to everyone the administration of this mystery which for ages past was kept hidden in God who created all things. His intent was that now, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms. 
according to his eternal purpose which he accomplished in Christ our Lord. In him, through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. Paul asked, therefore, do not be discouraged because of my sufferings for you, which are your glory. For this reason, I kneel before the Father, from whom his whole family in heaven and on earth derives its name. Now to him who is able to do more than all we ask or imagine according to his power at work in us. To him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. My friends, the power of the Holy Spirit behind what God has given us empowers us to exercise those gifts more than we could imagine. So, my friends, according to our abilities and beyond, let us be determined to be going beyond our ability for in Christ great enthusiasm equals opportunity. For we have the Holy Spirit empowering us to be more than we think we are. It's the manifold grace of God. It's good stewardship. It's our enthusiasm. It's our gifts to exceed our ability that is faith in action. In Matthew 25 verse 14 and beyond in the parable of the talents a man was going on a journey and he entrusted his property to his servants to one he gave five talents to another two and to another one according to their ability verse 19 after a long time the master returned <coughs> and settled accounts with them the one who was given five talents oh my God. put the money to work and earned another five. His master said, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. <coughs> Likewise, the one given two talents gained two more and had the same response of the master. But the one given one talent hid it away in the ground and told his master, here is your talent. The master replied, you wicked, lazy servant. And he took the talent from him and gave it to the one with ten. The first two were good stewards, faithful with a few things, and now to be entrusted with many. For everyone who has will be given more. God gives us opportunities to do many things through him who strengthens us. I will make you a ruler of many things, said the master. Friends, what are we, you and I, doing with the gifts that God has given us. Being good stewards of the manifold grace of God means we use the gifts. He blesses us with them to serve and minister others. 
For God wants us to use our God-given talents and abilities along with the strength he provides so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. It might be doing what we do now, as long as we do it in his power and for his glory. The truth is, God created us for his pleasure, to do his will. When we let him take control of who we are in him, God gets ordinary people doing extraordinary things. We just need to be faithful with the few giftings God has given us. We glorify him. My friends, in 1983, I went to Cardiff University to study to be a social worker. After working in manufacturing industry for 19 years, I felt this was what I should be doing. And I went and I prayed about it. When I got there, I felt an inferiority complex when I realized 75% of the students on the course had come with degrees already. It took me the best part of a year before I realized I needed to trust God by just putting in the effort and doing my best. Doing my best it was the important thing for me. After all, as I said, we had both prayed about it and as to whether we should go, I should go rather than leave a very good job in industry at South Wales Switchgear. And you know, I ended up exceeding the gifts and abilities I had been given by God. And I know very well my limitations. I had a 25 year career in social work that saw me rely on God daily, praying for his presence and strength to carry me through, uh, to pave the way, to prepare situations. In my social work career, God raised me to great heights I knew that I could not get to on my own strength. Oh, Praise and glory be to God. When you know the extent of your own abilities are insufficient to carry out the demands expected, Expected of your role, you have to rely on God or fail miserably. Every single person here today has great potential within them that God can bring each of us alive to do exceedingly abundant more than we could ever dream of doing. If we rely on him to make the best far better than we could ever be, that is our God, our Lord. The power of the Holy Spirit behind what God has given to us empowers us to do all the things that he wants us to do according to our ability and beyond. 
Friends, let each of us be determined to going beyond our own ability because God through the Holy Spirit will make sure that we will make a success of it. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Thank you, Gary. So good that God has given us so many things, abilities. He even says in his word, he's got plans and purposes for each one of us. And we just thank him for that. We just praise God for his word. And I pray that we will take that word to heart. We have so much to do as a church in this area. And uh, we just pray that each one of us will use those abilities for the Lord and for his kingdom. Praise his name. Just going to sing our last song now. Thank you. us strong. Lord, sometimes we feel weak, but we are assured by your word that when we are weak, we are strong in you. So we pray that you'll help us, help us daily, Lord, to do the things that you want us to do. Lord, we thank you for the gifts and talents and abilities that you have given us. Lord, we don't want to put them on the shelf. We want to physically activate those things for your sake, for your kingdom, for your glory. Nothing of ourselves, 
but us giving ourselves, yielding our spirits to you, that you might use us. So help us, Lord, we pray. For we ask it in your precious name, the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening. And we do pray that you will join us again. If we can be of any help with prayer, then please do contact us. I'm hoping to broadcast this meeting again this evening. We had a few technical issues at our end earlier, so I'm hoping it's worked out all right. But uh, at the end of that video, there will be a contact details for you to contact us. And we'd love to pray for you. We'd love you to make that decision for Jesus. So please take that opportunity. And may God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless. Amen.